Hello, everybody, and how are you all doing today? It is Rusty Champagne here with you, and I hope you are having a wonderful day. We are here today with a first look at a new game that came out yesterday. It is called Beach Club Simulator 2024, which I guess differentiates it from earlier year Beach Club Simulators. I'm not quite sure, but uh, but anyway, here it is. I've seen a few other streamers that have kind of been taking a look at this one, and I figured, yeah, let's let's give this one a peek. It's currently on Steam. It's like uh, the introductory price right now is a little bit less than $9 U.S., I think the regular price is going to be be about 11 So, yeah, let's uh, give this one a peek, shall we? Let's see what we got. This is the first I have opened this game, so I know nothing about what's going to happen here other than what I saw on, like, the trailers in the game. And it looks like there's all kinds of interesting stuff that can happen here. Um, but we're going to go into here. So let's see. Uh, movement keys are WASD. Then we get a tab for the radial menu, escape for the pause menu. So we're going to be seeing the pause menu a lot because I love hitting the escape key. Um, we got E to interact, F to exit the car and the ship, left shift to run, left click to attack with a stick, and then space for a handbrake. All right, we definitely want the tutorial because I have no idea what I'm doing. So a shower and toilet will be nice. Don't forget to clean after using the toilet. Uh, thank you very much. So let's go in here. Let's interact with this. We're going to take a quick shower, get ourselves all cleaned up. Um, we can't show that part. That's good to know that we can't show that part. Uh, we're apparently staying, staying in a hostel, and we're going to get ourselves all nice cleaned, uh, cleaned up. Uh, do we? Oh, um, great. There we go. That's good. Uh, let's see. What happens if I salute? Um, yeah, there we go. That was me as I never looked at any point in my life. Um, so that's good to know. Uh, we got a real nice size bed. That looks like it's at least a queen size bed, maybe even a king, because maybe we're just that fancy. Um, we're going to leave the hostel. I guess we're on like a, one of the main floors or one of the upper floors. So we're going to head out of here. Uh, how you doing? Uh, Hostel Pacifico with an S. Uh, how you doing, sir? Uh, let's talk to you real quick. Oh, you just look like you're all kinds of fun. Um, you can stay in the hostel for a daily fee until you own a house. Okay, so we will stay here until we own a house uh, and we'll pay the daily fee, whatever it is. All right, out we go. Look at all the wonderful people here. How y'all doing? I'm just going to run across the street, not even going to look at the cars. Got guys out here doing push-ups. They, like, immediately fall to the ground and do all their push-ups. Uh, <laughs> this is like push-up land, and now he's going to do some uh, bicycle squats or something like that. Uh, how are you doing, sir? Uh, why aren't you doing push-ups? You should be doing push-ups with everybody else. You're just kind of here selling all the food. That's fine. Um, yeah, look at these guys. Uh, they just immediately drop into the push-ups on a regular basis. All right, we had some food. That's good. Uh, let's go to our beach. We have our very own beach. So we're going to go out here. going to run in the street. Uh, I wonder, do we clip through these people? Uh, yes, we do. All right, here is our beach. Our beach is currently closed, but we're going to open this up. Uh, all right, let's make our own sign. So what do we want this to be? Uh, let's see. We want this to be uh, Champagne Sands. Uh, can we make it that much? Uh, yeah, Champagne Sands. Or maybe the Rusty Chair. Uh, let's see. The Rusty Chair. I'm, I'll go with that. All right. Let's see. Uh, icons. I don't want to get too crazy on icons. We'll just kind of go with that. Let's see. What kind of fonts do we have? Uh, let's kind of take a look at our fonts. See what we got. How many fonts are there? Uh, and how much can we go up and down with it? No. Can we go left and right? No. Uh, oh, and I just made the color really, really weird. Uh, let's see. Background color. I, I know I really need to get like my official orange. I have like my official orange color that I use. That's pretty close. Okay. Let's keep going through the fonts again. I don't want to waste too much. That's a good font. We're just going to go with that. Uh, the name color, we're going to make that a nice fancy blue. Look at that. I love it already. There we go. The rusty chair. There it is. Bang. We got it. So there's our sign. Here we are at the rusty chair. We have a bunch of stuff on our beach. Let's grab our, not our phone. Let's grab our shovel and let's clean this stuff up because we got all this stuff on the beach and we don't want it here. 
So we're going to, can we zoom out? I wonder if there's a way to get like a bigger frame, a bigger field of view. Maybe not. Um, oh, we got to be like right on it and wait for the E to show up before we hit it. There we go. Here's four pieces. That's a really big shell <laughs> and a really rusted out uh, <laughs> like uh, sand canister. I don't really know. A really rusted out sand bucket. Uh, that's I'm not quite sure. Oh, I see. There's a little dot that shows up on the screen, and that will. Um, that's when we know that we have to hit the clean. There we go. It's a really hard to see dot. You can see it if you're looking here, but that's about the only way you can tell. And is the last thing over there in the water? I think so. So we got to go into the water and hit that. There we go. Everything is cleaned up. Perfect. And I'm not going to drown in the water. Uh, we're going to get a sunbed for our beach. So we're going to go to radio menu and then phone and then be trendy. And then we can order 10 things at a time. So let's get a sunbed. So we're going to go to the uh, phone and then go to, uh, let's see, if we go here. Oh, be trendy. There we go. So we want some sunbeds so we can get some desired object and quantity from the category. So let's see, uh, what kind of sunbeds do we want? We want some cheap ones. That's what we want. We definitely want some cheap ones. So I'm just going to get one yellow deck chair, and we're going to be good with that. And then I guess we can just go here to the cart and payment. I don't even know how much money we have. It doesn't show on the on our screen. So we're just going to get that, and I'm assuming that's going to be fine. So now we're going to go here. We're going to click out of this. We're going to click out of this. We're going to go to the radio menu and the hammer. Please, hammer, don't hurt him. And then we are going to set that right about uh, here. So the delivery guy is on his way in his red tracksuit. On his way here. How you doing, sir? I would imagine that's going to get mighty darn hot if you wear that for too long. All right, so you're going to drop that off. Now we're going to grab that. So we're going to open that up, and we can set it somewhere on the beach. Uh, let's see, to rotate it. That's Q and E, to rotate it. Perfect. Let's put you right over here. Uh, this seems like a pretty good place, so we'll set you right there. Boom. Got our own little deck chair, all as well. We're going to set our beach entry fee, so phone my beach homepage. Attract more customers by keeping the entrance fee low. Okay, so we're going to go back to the phone. We're going to go to my beach. How about that? Um, that is apparently our name. I didn't realize that, but there we go. I am Adam C. Walker. Hello, and welcome to Adam C. Walker Television. Um, the entry fee is going to be, uh, I uh, let's even go cheaper. So make it three bucks for people to get in. Uh, we're going to hire a bartender, so we're going to go there. We're going to go to employees, and we need a bartender. So let's see. Uh, Sam Daniels, the bartender. And you apparently are five star all the way around. Let's hire you. There we go for a hundred bucks. Um, as your motivation, speed, and communication de skills decrease, you can increase their salaries or fire them. <laughs> That's good. All right, so there we go. And now we're going to get some drinks. So we're going to go back here to the phone and back to be trendy. And we're going to go to drinks. And this is where we can get it. So drinks and food will automatically be placed on the stand. No need to deal with the boxes. I don't know how much each of these things that we need. Well, we got to get some champagne. I mean, it is rusty champagne now. So we're going to get, uh, uh, we'll get one, we'll get a couple. Oh, no, we have to complete the tutorial. Can I get anything else? No. So that's all I can get. So we're going to get champagne because that's going to be the first thing that we get here. <laughs> I mean, what better way to celebrate the rusty chair? Then with some champagne. There we go. So we're going to set the menu prices. So back to my beach and the menu. And so here's all of our things. We got crispy chicken. I wonder if it's window chicken. I'm not sure. And we are going to go all the way down to the champagne. So we got one in stock. And we bought it for 36 So I'm going to set the price of this at like 48 because we only bought one. So we're ready. We're going to open our beach to welcome customers. So we're going to click the close sign on the radio menu or do it from here. And we can keep the beach open from 800 to 1900 hours. There we go. So the beach club is open for your convenience. And customers arrived. And we're going to accept the customers. So we're going to go, whoop, there we go. There's the escape key. 
And we're going to close this up. And we're going to go over here, not with our detector. We're just going to get our hand tool. How are you doing, ma'am? Uh, you are here. We are going to bring you in. I don't really have any reason to reject you. So we're going to accept you for three bucks. There you go. I've seen on the trailer what you can do if you reject people, but that's just kind of, I don't really think that that would be all that nice to do. But hey, uh, you could have a lot of fun with it. I think that it like kind of uh, hits the person with a bat is really what it comes down to. So we're going to take the customer's order and deliver it. So we're going to click on the bartender to prepare the order. And then once the order is ready, click on the customer to deliver it. How are you doing? Uh, we're going to go here. We're going to get some champagne. This person is more than willing to pay $48 for some rusty champagne. Um, there we go. Look at that dance. You are styling, sir. Let us take this. Come on down. How you doing? And I'm leaving this extra an extra tip for this experience. Uh, scare away the shark. So we got to go in here. We got to grab our stick. And let's run out to the shark. Uh, how you doing, Mr. Shark? Get out of here. Um, <laughs> apparently, that's all it takes to get rid of the shark. Okay, so we're going to interact with the customer who's now drowning. And you've got me saving you. That's not necessarily the best thing because I really do not know how to swim. Uh, very true. Okay, um, you're drowning, so let's not have you drown. That's not the way we want our our place to go on the first day. Um, whoa, boy. So we beat a, beat a shark with a stick. We had someone almost drown, and now you're on your way home. So what a first day at the rusty chair. So we're going to go here to the phone again. We're going to go to my beach. We're going to go to growth. We're going to go to popularity. Let's see. Wonderful atmosphere. You can relax on the beach loungers and enjoy the day with delicious drinks. Um, and we have bills because there's, of course, going to be bills. So let's go here. Uh, we're, uh, let's see. Phone, my beach, payments, and bills. Pay the beach tax. So we got to pay $1 for beach tax. I guess that's a bargain. So if you don't pay your weekly bills, you will go to jail for one day. Ouch. Man, they don't mess around here. Okay. The bills have been paid. And let's see, kick out the bad guys who's secretly taking pictures of your customers. Uh, all right, where is the peeper? Uh, let's get our stick out. And where are you? Um, where is the guy? Uh, what are you doing over here, guy? Um, I don't want to have to beat you up, but you're doing nasty stuff. So get out of here <laughs> with your nasty self. All right, now we're going to, right, yeah, let's, let's hit you again. Um, can we? No, uh, you're just down there. Oh, let's hit you one more time. Beat you while you're down. Yeah, bang. There we go. Stop it. Okay. <laughs> you rude person. All right. Now we're going to go and we're going to do some treasure hunting. Okay. So we're going to get our detector out and we're going to go over here. This is going to chirp at us. Going to keep chirping at us. It's getting louder. And oh, look at that. There we go. So what do we got? Ooh, a fancy, looks like a coin. Treasure you uploaded is uploaded to the Trader app on your phone. So we can go to there. All right, so we're going to go here, and we're going to go to the Trader, and we're going to sell, sale by auction. So we're going to sell this ancient bronze coin. Uh, let's see. How much can we sell it for? Uh, let's go 80 bucks. There we go. Let's see if someone's going to buy this for $80. And look at that. We do have some people that are very interested in getting this thing for all the way up to $95. Is anyone else going to bid? Let's see. Or are we done? So we got $95 for an ancient bronze coin that we found after we beat a guy with a stick. So there we go. We're going to sell it. Um, I believe that's all we got to do. There we go. Perfect. I still don't know how much money we have. So I don't know if maybe that's on my beach. <clears throat> Does it tell us? No, I do not see it. So, hmm. We will eventually figure out how much money we have. I'm going to hit the escape key again because I can. And then we're going to go over here. Uh, we're going to look at you. I forgot. What was your name again? Uh, <laughs> if we go here, uh, our employees, uh, who are you? Uh, Sam. So Sam, the, the dancing bartender. 
So let's go say goodnight to Sam. Uh, Sam, you are a dancing fool, man. Uh, you do you. The beach is closed, but I guess you can stay here and dance. So I, I, I guess if that's what you're feeling, just have at it. Uh, we'll, we'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Look at that. The sign even glows. How about that? Are you taking pictures? Do I need to hit you with the stick? Um, are you, maybe I do. Let's see. Boom. <clears throat> <laughs> maybe you weren't but you look like the other guy so we're gonna we're gonna knock you around and now we're gonna go home so oh look at that we've got a sign over here so we oh so we made three hundred dollars is that what it is i'm not sure uh we're gonna head in here oh you all look the same okay that's fine sorry sorry to that other guy that i hit with a stick um he just looks shady so <laughs> we're gonna go in here and is this our place or is this our place I don't know. This is our place. This is the one. The one where I left the door open. There we go. So now let's go to sleep and recharge. We can stay in the hostel for a daily fee. That's what the guy down at the front desk said. So there we go. We're shaking off the day's fatigue. It is rough owning your own beach. It is something that is very, very daunting. It is June 15th. We have completed the tutorial task. Now we can enjoy your beach and the sea. Oh, so we have 100 bucks. So they just gave us as much money as we wanted. I see. Um, oh, so, so down there in the bottom right, it tells us, like, what our status is. So we're going to go in here. We're going to take a quick shower just to get ourselves a little bit more cleaned up because we don't want to go out there all stinky at our own beach. Um, and I love the way that it tells us that, okay, there we are. We're all good there. I guess we'll use the facility. Um, just... Please don't make any noises. Just please don't. Um, just leave it at that. Uh, okay. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Oh, gosh. Um, yeah, that, that was a thing. Okay. Um, the, great. Thank you for that. Uh, <laughs> we're just going to get moving here. Um, I don't know why games have to be like that, but I guess they do. So, okay. Let's make our way to our beach. Let's see. I've got $100. Uh, I've got more garbage on my beach. Uh, how does this happen? Um, so let's get all this cleaned up. Um, man, just one day, and all of a sudden we got all this trash. That's kind of crazy. So let's get rid of all this. Um, we've got full-blown garbage bags here. Uh, that's interesting. So we got some more trash here. I guess we'll get rid of all this. And, again, these are like giant seashells. These are monster she seashells. Or it's something completely different, and I don't want to know if it is. Don't tell me. I just don't want to know. So we'll, we'll leave it at that, and we'll get you. Okay, there we go. So you are still there dancing. Um, that's kind of funny. We should probably get some food. So let's go here. Let's go to the phone. Let's go to um, Be Trendy. Let's get some food. So let's see. What can we get? We can get some. Well, we got to get some crispy chicken. I'm assuming it's window chicken. I don't know for sure. But we're going to get some chicken. Um, we're going to get some. I got to make sure I have enough money. So we're going to get some chicken. I'm going to get some pizza. And I might get a couple of drinks just to have enough for people. Oh, I don't even have enough. So because I, I don't even have enough to get another chair. So we'll get that, and we'll get some, uh, let's see, some, what do we have? A, an apple juice and a cola. We'll get one of each of those. There we go. That'll work. We'll get all that, $34. Now I think we can go back here, and we can go to my beach, and we can set the prices of things. So the, this we're going to go for 5 Can I change? Oh, uh, it was the cola. So... It would be nice if they told you what you bought it for, because I don't remember what we bought it for. So I'm going to set that for four. I'm going to set that for four. And the champagne, we don't have any more of that. We're going to go down here. Uh, it would also be nice if they told you the items that you had in stock. Uh, but this is, oh, so if we go up from here, maybe there's a way to see only the items you have in stock, but I'm not finding it. And again, I don't know how much I bought all this for. So I'm going to go 18. And I'm going to go uh, 18 as well. There we go. I, I think that that's going to be good. I Because I think that that's what I paid for most of these things. I, we're, I'm actually, I'm going to do 20. We'll do 24. There we go. Set it at that. Uh, we can go. Well, I might as well go back in here. 
and go to my beach and pay my bills. So, uh, oh, I don't have any that were ready. So we can follow everything related to your beach from this application, including your employees menu. Okay, that's just telling us about that app. Okay. And eventually we'll get VIPs. I don't know when. Uh, let's open the beach club. And let's see how many people are going to show up. Maybe it's just going to be the one. Maybe that'll be it. Uh, and here comes somebody. How are you doing? I'm guessing I'm going to eventually need more and more chairs. Uh, how's it going? Uh, normal entry. Yeah, come on in. How you doing? And uh, maybe we'll have room for more than one person. I don't know what will happen. I guess you're just going to kind of go that way. And we'll see what happens. And we'll see how many people kind of show up. And how are you doing? Uh, you can come in as well. Because, again, there's no reason that you shouldn't. So uh, you guys are going to go there. I remember seeing something that the treasure hunt was on. So if we do this, um, is there something uh, maybe out this way? Is it over here? Oh, wait. I've got something that's right by me. Is it? Where is it? Um, it's going a little crazy. Uh, but I'm not seeing anything. So we're just going to come back out. And I think that there was something in the water. My customer's in danger of drowning. Uh, which customer is it? Where are you? Uh, why are you in danger of drowning? Why would you do such a thing? So we're going to go here. Uh, please don't die on me. And don't let me hit you with a hammer. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, if you can't swim that well, you shouldn't go all the way out there. So let's bring you in. Uh, let's set you down and let's get you undrowned. There you go. Um, thank you. I really liked it. Here's an additional tip. So, uh, yeah, from now on, please don't um, go out any further than you can. Oh, my goodness. we got all these other people that want to come here. How are you doing? Come on in. And you can come on in. And how about you? Uh, sure, you can come on in. Do we want to have someone that we want to reject just for the fun of it? I don't think so. I think we're going to bring everybody in. And maybe just for the fun of it, we'll reject you just to see what happens. Um, <laughs> again, that's so rude. That is absolutely rude. And there's no reason to do that. Uh, we got a crispy chicken. And again, we got someone who's in danger of dying. Uh, what is it with people out here not knowing how to swim? Uh, this is really not that good. All I know is that we got all these people out here that are going in the water. And I don't think we have any riptides out here. <laughs> But something is happening. Um, I'm very satisfied. Here's a tip for you. Thank you for not having me drown. Okay. So now we got your crispy chicken that came from the window. I think that might have actually come from the supermarket called Supermarket. I've got a feeling. So I think that they said that we can keep the beach open until 1900. So we're going to just keep on bringing people in. And we're going to see exactly what they're doing. Um, we'll eventually need to get enough money to have... Uh, the ability to get another chair. Because if I remember right, another chair was how much for another chair? If we go here to, whoops, if we go here and if we swing over here, sun beds, it was, yeah, 168 for another chair. So those are pretty expensive. That's all I know. <clears throat> so, but I don't want to jack up the price of admissions. So we're just going to leave these at $3 a piece. Plenty of people seem, seem like they're coming in. Uh, we got one person here. How are you doing and what would you like? Or are you just going to sit there and chill? Maybe you're just going to sit there and chill. Maybe that's what it's all about. Okay. What time is it? It is 1715. So I've got to close up in a couple of hours. Now the question is, will it just automatically close or will I have to kick everybody out? I guess we'll see when we actually get to that point in time as to what happens, because I'm not quite sure what it'll be. But we are, we're up to $132, so that's good. Um, what did you say? You earned it. Here's an extra tip. Uh, that's great. So all these extra tips that we're getting, uh, I'm guessing I will eventually see them. I don't know when, but <laughs> maybe at some point I will. The sun is setting here at the rusty chair, so we will eventually have to tell all these people that I don't care where you go, but you can't stay here um, because we are running out of time. In about another half hour, <clears throat> it will be time for everyone to go. But we can get this person a last-minute pizza before they do. So there we go. One last-minute pizza before it is time to call it a day. 
And of course, someone's in danger of drowning. Where are you? And why are you in danger of drowning, especially this late at night? So here we go. I'm going to get you. Uh, let's get you rescued. Uh, sir, you should not be in here if you're going to drown on me. So we generally do not condone that behavior. All right, let's get you taken care of. There you go. That's perfect. Um, and that pizza that we made is now um, gone. So, <laughs> yeah, so that's an important thing to remember. Don't take a customer's order when it is like almost the end of the day. Because all you do is you waste the pizza. So I guess we can just throw this out. Oh, there's the tip box. Okay, so we're going to dispose of that. we got a tip box here. Let's see. How much is in the tip box? Uh, what do we got in here? $43. Okay, perfect. That's nice. So we're back up to $81. That's good. Um, we'll ha have to eventually make more money. So maybe I've got to go in here and make the beach a little bit more expensive to, to visit. So we'll set this to $5. And maybe that'll be good. Because otherwise, I'm never going to get ahead if we keep going this way. Um, let's see other things that we've got. So I guess I can, I wonder if it'll like, if the time will eventually stop. So let's see, let's go here one more time and we're just going to kind of go a little bit further and we're going to see if I find anything here. Um, oh, here we go. That's what we wanted. So we're going to take that. It's another treasure. So let's hop out of here. And we're going to go to the auction real quick. So we're going to go into our phone. We're going to go to Trader. Sell this by auction. It's an ancient quartz coin. Uh, I'm going to try and get at least two hundy for that. There we go. At least two hundo. Let's see what we can do. I'm hoping that that will be a good price. Yeah, there we go. You know you want this ancient quartz coin. You know you want it. And you know that we have it for you. So someone else has to bid on this. Come on. You know someone else wants it. Um... But maybe not. Maybe we'll just get 220 and that'll be fine. I won't be greedy. That will be fine. There we go. Sell the ancient quartz coin. We now have $300. And that will give us plenty of money to, in the morning, go ahead and get another chair. So we can have a couple of chairs out here. Maybe that'll help us with getting a little bit more cash. And we'll be in good shape. But for now, we are going to go back into the hostel. And we're going to call it a night. And you just look like you're just having way too much fun. And you're going to just tell us the same thing you told us before. That is fine. Let's head on up. We are here at the end of the hall. And we're going to call it a night. Shaking off the day's fatigue once again. Because it is very tiring owning your own beach club. I'm telling you. It is a tiring thing. And now we have... $301. It is 6 o'clock in the morning, so we should probably head down. going to take a quick shower, just a quick shower. I'm not going to do that other thing because that's just nasty. I mean, I'll, I'll do it when it's eventually needed, but I'm not going to do it right now because that's just it's just gratuitous. So <laughs> I don't play that way. So we're going to hop out of here, um, and we're going to close the door. Yeah, I'm going to try and get on the opposite side of it when I do it. And there we go. Door is closed. Going to hop on down to our beach club. Uh, the treasure hunt is on. Okay. So let's see if we can do that before we get going. So that's nice if we can find a treasure every day. So let's go out here. Is there something out here? There is. Okay. Is it? Uh, where is it? We're going to keep going this way. Uh, keep going this way, I guess. It's still showing that it's straight ahead. So we're going to keep going straight ahead, and we're going to see if we can find it. Oh, wait. It's, like, right on top of us, or it should be. So, oh, is it right down? There it is. Oh, it's a, uh, what is that? I don't know what it is, but we're going to immediately try and sell it. So let's go into our phone, and maybe we got to be on the shore. <laughs> maybe they don't like us using our phone out here. And we got another peeper out here. I wish I could beat him with my shovel. But I really can't do that. So we're just going to hit this guy with our stick because you are just a creep. So get out of here. <laughs> we don't need that. Now we're going to go back here to our phone. We're going to go to the trader. We're going to sell our antique bronze vase. We're going to definitely put that up for at least 400 So, yeah, 402 
is going to be the starting price. So who wants our antique bronze vase? Ooh, 452. Uh, oh, 502. There we go. People are all about the antique bronze vases. They're definitely digging that. That is good because we need all the money to expand our beach club. Wow, that's a lot of cash. There we go. Perfect. Look at that. We got 652 extra dollars. So now we're up to 953. So now we're going to go in here. We're going to go to our B Trendy. We're going to get a couple more deck chairs. So a couple more yellow deck chairs because I'm still feeling cheap. So we're going to do that. Maybe I'll even get three. Um, actually, no, I'm going to get two and I'm going to, yeah, I'm just going to, I'm no, I'm going to get three. So three more. And we're going to, let's see, oh, we got some fancy pergola. Oh, I can't afford any of that. Um, we got some decor, but I'm afraid of it getting lost. Uh, we got some machines that I can't afford. We got some showers that I can't afford. Um, we've got all these other things. So let's see, we got floors, we got sunbeds, we got umbrellas. I should really get the place open and stop looking at all this. So let's go back in there. Let's get those ordered. Oh, did they did they go out of my thing? Oh, I wonder if they went out of my thing. Uh, let's see, sunbeds, they went out. Okay, let's get those ordered. There we go. And those will show up. I really should get the beach opened. It's not doing me any good to have the beach closed. So let's go here. Uh, let us open the beach, and I've got to take care of all the garbage. I've not done that either. I'm just sitting here playing with a... <laughs> Playing with my metal detector and not cleaning up the beach and not getting the day open. So uh, that's not a way to make money. I hope you know that. So, all right, let's get this all cleaned up so people don't say what a dirty beach you have. Because we don't want that. Again, I'm saying that's a seashell. I'm not going to hear anything else. So <laughs> we're just going to we're going to leave it at that. I don't know where we get all these dusty, rusty cans from. I don't know how they keep showing up, but somehow they do. Um, and apparently I did not open the, the beach. The beach is still closed. Okay. Let's go here. I thought I clicked on it to open it. I apparently did not. The beach is now open for your convenience. And let's get, um, why am I dancing? Uh, I don't want to be dancing. No one needs to see that. No one wants to see that. Let's grab our hammer. Let's get this up and put this right over here next to this one. So we're going to get a few of these going. So we're going to just kind of set these right here. And we're going to get a couple more. So we're going to get you set up. And we'll set you right over here as well. Look at us with our line of yellow deck chairs. <clears throat> and then one more. Let's get you in here as well. So you can come on in. How you doing? And one more deck chair. We got to get... Uh, do I need to have that set up? Maybe I got to have the hammer. Yes, I do. So we got to have the hammer out to place the objects. <clears throat> we got all the deck chairs. Perfect. Look at us with all of our deck chairs. Um, I don't know what this is about, but this does not look good. Uh, so we're going to see what you're all about. I don't know what. Uh, but we're going to accept these people in first, and then we're going to talk with you and see what this is about. We bring greetings from the Father, hand over the trust, um, okay. I don't want to get shot, so, uh, see ya. Um, uh, okay. Uh, so we got the mob that's out here as well. That's good, and they're just going to take off. I'm assuming that's going to be a regular thing, so that's great. Um, that's good to know that we're going to eventually have to keep on paying fees to the bad guys. Um... What do we have here? So we've got a cola and an apple juice. I'm going to have to order more food. So we got a cola. We got two colas and an apple juice. I don't even know if I have two. Uh, Sam, how are you doing? We have one cola, and we have um, – so we can do that. I'm going to eventually have to get a waiter, I think. So there's our cola. going to take that, and we're going to bring that over here, and then we need an apple juice, and we need uh, the apple juice. So let's grab that. I'm going to have to order more stuff. So we're going to have to go here. We're going to have to go to the My Beach. And uh, no, we got to go to Be Trendy. And let's get more food So and more drinks. So the drinks, we got cola and we got apple juice. So let's go up here. So we got, let's get a bunch of colas. 
we'll get 10 colas, and we'll get 10 apple juices. Oh, we can only order a maximum of 10 things at a time. There we go. Let's get 10 apple juices. There we go. And someone's drowning. Uh, it's just another day. Okay. Uh, and I'm hitting the wrong buttons because I do that. Let's grab this apple juice. Run this over. And there you go. And let's find out who's drowning. Where are you, my drowning person? Uh, you're way over here. Again, why are you in the water if you're going to drown on me? So you should not do that. That is not recommended. It really isn't. Okay. So let's get you taken care of. I feel like I haven't gotten that much done today. I <laughs> feel like it's really not been that good of a day. All right. We got all these people here. Let's bring them all in. Everybody. Uh, we're not going to reject anybody. We have no reason to. I need all the money I can get. So let's do that. So there's all the cash. And I think someone else wanted a cola. So there we go. Let's get that taken care of. Uh, because I'm pretty sure there was one other person that wanted it. And we are definitely running out of time. So, okay. Uh, I think I can get one more done here. So can we deliver that to you? We can. Uh, let's do one more. I think we can get one more thing here. And we can get a couple more people in. So let's do that. And there you go. Everybody's coming. And then we got our apple juice. We're going to run that over. Get you taken care of. Do I have enough time to do one more before the beach closes? I might have enough time. So let's do one more cola. And I think that's going to be the last one I can do before time runs out. There we go. We're going to take that. Run this back. The sun is setting. That means everyone's getting ready to go home. And we will uh, grab our shovel because I think I see some trash here. I do. So let's get that picked up. And everybody's getting ready to go. Here we go. We earned it. Here's an extra tip. So nice. That is wonderful of all you peeps. Uh, everyone else has to go home. And again, I just don't like the way you look. So you're just gonna, <laughs> you're just gonna get hit because <laughs> you're just a shady dude. So even if you did nothing wrong, you get hit anyway. So there we go. Thirty-one dollars in tips. So we got one hundred and forty-four dollars. We've got enough money to once again pay Sam, the dancing bartender. And I think that's about it. So let's head back up one more time and see what happens after one more day. So we're going to go back here to the Hostel Pacifico. I'm not going to go to the casino. Only bad things can happen there. I'm sure that that's a fun place, but maybe I'll, maybe I'll adventure that another time. Right now, I think it's just time to go to sleep. I can only sleep from 2100 to 0600. Okay, well, what else can I do? I will, I guess, just kind of wait another 25 minutes and then I will go to sleep because there's not much else to do here. So wait just a little bit longer and get some shut eye and then we'll get into the next day here at the beach club and try to actually get the beach open a little bit earlier this time. There we go. Another day of shaking off the day's fatigue um, with all the wonderful sleep in our giant king size bed that they have here at the Hostel Pacifico. All right, how are we doing? I think I can get a little more of a shower. Let's do that again. Again, I'm going to hold off on the other thing until I need to. Uh, <laughs> until it gets really, really bad, and then I'll worry about that. But for now, let's just get ourselves showered up, and let's head on out and run down to the beach because I want to get the beach open earlier because I think I can open the beach at 8. So it does not do me any good to have the beach closed all day. Um, there is nothing apparently waiting for, or there's no uh, no treasure going. Oh, the treasure hunt is on. So we will get all this taken care of. And then once I have this taken care of, then I can get the treasure hunt going. But I want to get all this cleaned up before we get to that point. Because I want to make sure I get the beach open right at the start of the day and get a full 11 hours of beach goers here. Because right now... I, I missed like four hours of beach time yesterday, and that was not good. That does not help. So get all this cleaned up. Again, I don't know where all this stuff comes from. I don't know what's in this body of water that is causing all this stuff to, uh, to show up on the beach. But I'm not sure I want to know that either. Okay, my beach. The beach is open for your convenience. And let's see who we can get in here. 
and hopefully we'll make a little bit more money this time. I got $144. I should probably kind of be a little bit cautious on spending too much money until I've got a bunch of people here because I don't know whether or not the mob's going to show up again and uh, <laughs> want to do bad things to me. So we're just going to kind of take it easy for a bit. And then once I'm over $200, then I might start doing more with like ordering food and stuff like that. Because I just, I just want to make sure that nothing bad's going to happen somewhere around noontime. And they came back, they came by last time looking for $300. So we're just going to, we're going to, we're going to keep a little bit of money in the coffers until we get there. So this gentleman wants an apple juice. Sam, the dancing bartender, is here. He'll get us an apple juice. And I'm going to have to definitely get some food that's going to sell for more money. Because, I mean, four bucks at a time is one thing, but we really got to do a little bit better than that for, for, making, uh, for making money from food and drinks. And I know there's plenty of stuff that we can sell for more. I just bought some cheap stuff to get started. How you doing, sir? Come on in. How you doing? Come on in. I love the way it's, it's like you're supposed to scope these people out before you let them in or something. Uh, which, again, seems like it's... Uh, uh, that, that's not the way that we should be um, running the beach based on subjectivity like that. But, hey, I don't know. To each their own. I, I am the all-welcoming beach. Everyone is welcome at the rusty chair. So <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter who you are. Um, even if you're going to drown, you are always welcome here at the rusty chair. So let's go and get this guy who's going to drown because it's a daily, a daily thing. People get out way too far into the water, and they don't know how to swim, apparently. And so we have to come and rescue and bring them here and get them all taken care of. Because I don't want anyone drowning on my beach. We're not going to have that. That's not going to happen. How you doing, sir? Come on in. How you doing, ma'am? Come on in. Do I have any tips in the tip box? I do. Let's take those tips. I've got $19 in tips. Awesome. How you doing, sir? Come on in. Do we have anyone that wants some food? We got a cola over there. So the dancing bartender, let's get a cola. And I've got $221 now. So yeah, I could probably start looking at getting some other things. Everyone just keeps on ordering the cola. Maybe it's because I don't have anything else. Yeah, so everyone keeps on going for cola and apple juice. Um, let's see if we can get other stuff ordered. And eventually I think I can probably get like a server, but I don't know how much they're going to cost to have come in here come in here and work for us if i remember right they're not cheap so let's get you your apple juice and thank you very much and we got a couple other people that are waiting here how you doing come on in welcome to the rusty chair so glad to have you here and let's now take a look at the menu so let's go to the menu let's go to be trendy let's look at some foods um yeah let's get some more pizza and some more crispy chicken so let's do some of that. So the pizza was 12. The crispy chicken was 18. So let's do five of each of those. There we go. And now we're going to go back to Beach Trendy, and I'm going to look at the prices on the. Or no, I'm going to go look at the My Beach, and I'm going to look at the prices on those. So the menu, so 12, 18, 18, we're going to set that at 27. There we go. Going to make a 50% profit on all that stuff. That's what we like, 50% profit. Going to close that up. And we're going to wait and see. There's a crispy chicken. Perfect. Already, we've got a crispy chicken that's waiting. They're willing to pay that much money for a crispy chicken. So I am all about it. If you're willing to pay it, I am willing to I am willing to charge it. How are you doing, ma'am? Come on into the rusty chair. How are you doing? Come on into the rusty chair. And we will get the crispy chicken here. Run this out. And then we got another apple juice. How are you doing, sir? There you go. Thank you very much. Come on over here, get an apple juice ordered. This is like a, a different version of Supermarket Simulator where we're just running out to different places. Uh, normal entry for you. Come on into the rusty chair. How you doing? And over here, an apple juice. We will run this down here. And I should check and see how much it does cost to hire another employee. So if we go here and if we go to my beach and if we go to the employees, uh, waiters are, wow, six, oh man, they're 3,000 at the, at the minimum. Okay, we can't do that. So there's a shark here, so let's grab our stick. And, whoa, oh my gosh, what are you doing, shark? Uh, get out of here. I've got to beat you with the stick. You're chewing on this person. We do not condone that behavior. Go away. <laughs> Is that person drowning? Uh, they don't seem to be, so they're just gone. Um, all right, let's get you guys in, not with our scanner. 
uh, when we'll get you taken care of. Come on in. We got sharks that we can beat with a stick. Uh, we will make sure that they do not bother you. We have this person that wants a crispy chicken. I did see that. So we'll get a crispy chicken ordered. Not to be confused with crispy chibi. That is a completely different thing. Come on in. How you doing? And we got a crispy chicken there. We'll take that. Run it on down. And there you go. Thank you very much. So, yeah, that's those are expensive getting the – it's like 6000 for a bodyguard. Holy smokes. That's a lot of cash. And I'm just <laughs> trying to get money to, to just keep on paying the bills. Come on into the rusty chair. It is $16.40. I got another crispy chicken. That's perfect. I need to get all the crispy chicken I can. Um, so we'll do that. And I can't get another thing ordered um, because we only have one bartender. I'm guessing eventually we could probably have two different bartenders, but we right now only have the one, so we will do that, and we will keep on delivering the things that make us the most money. Come on into the resty chair. How you doing? Run over here, get this person their soda or their cola, and we've got another person here for the resty chair. How are you? Good to see you. Come on in. Got the cola over here. Run this on down. Oh, and a pizza. Yeah, definitely want to get the pizza before we run out of time. Yeah, we got plenty of time. I got an hour and a half before we got to close the place up. Let's get you your pizza because that will help us make all the money. Um, it feels like the this is floating. That's interesting. <laughs> so we have a floating uh, food stand. That's kind of interesting. There you go. Thank you very much. Oh, and I do have to do the treasure hunt. I can do that after we're done. Um, actually, can I do that now? Let's see. It's over this away. So we're going to run down here and see what we can sell. Because there is something out here. So we're going to take a look. It is further out this way. It's still out this way. Um, where is it? Oh, it's right here. Okay, so we're going to take that. And now we're going to run and get the person that's drowning. Where are you? You're over here. You're not supposed to drown while I'm doing a treasure hunt. <laughs> so <laughs> that's not allowed. Okay, let's get you taken care of. I wonder if I'm going to be able to keep you from drowning while the store is, or while the beach is open. Uh, oh, yeah. So the <gasps> beach is closed, but we'd still have to save you from drowning anyway. So there you go. Um, I didn't see what you said, but hopefully it was that you're going to leave us a nice tip for saving you. Uh, oh, man, all the money. How about that? So how much money is in here? Lots. Wow. Okay, perfect. All the cash. And how about what did we get here? So if we go here and trade, uh, sell by auction, a uh, gold coin. That's worth at least 150. Let's get that sold. Let's see what people think of our gold coin for $150. Yeah, I knew we'd get at least one taker on it. So we'll see how that goes. That'll get us a little more money, which is good. Can use all the cash. It looks like maybe we're only going to have two people to bid on it. That's fine. We'll take $170. That, that'll that work. I'm good with that. So we're going to sell that gold coin for $170. And that gives us 383 And I think that that puts us in pretty good shape. So we got our four beach chairs down there. Um, we have no one that's drowning anymore. We got Sam, the dancing bartender, who always has a smile on his face. I'd say that we've had a pretty good few days here at the rusty chair yeah this is this is this one's definitely cute um it's got some interesting choices on some things to to say the least but uh yeah th this one it's definitely got some charm like i said right now it's available on steam for i i like i said i think it's like just under nine dollars us and i think the regular price is going to be just under 11 and apparently off in the distance they are still doing jumping jacks and push-ups because that never ends down here in beach life. But that is going to be all for now. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked this video, I'd appreciate it if you gave it a like. If you really liked this video, I'd appreciate it even more if you considered giving the channel a subscribe. But until next time, thank you as always for being a part of all of my silliness. I am Rusty Champagne, and we will see you later.